Hey, Brooke. Hi, Debbie. Can y'all hear me? Move my chair over just a little. Okay. Let's turn it just a little. There we go. How's everybody doing? <laughs> so hot. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I want to make that. I got all kinds of notes. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hi, Angie. Who else is here? Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Got some new books. I think we'll color today. I think we might color in the pot manga. This is the new, um, it's like um, a comp, that's the best of. I have all her other books. This is a best of. So we're probably going to color in that today. Hi, Icy. I got some happy mail. Got to show some posts on IG. What else? So, yeah. So, hope everybody's doing well. Hi, Tina and Sweden. Pamela. Linda Renz. Linda, after the show, I saw that you wanted some, um, at the very end of the show on Wednesday, I saw that you wanted uh, prompts and I didn't see you. So if you want prompts, let me know because <laughs> after the show, I scrubbed through and I go, oh, Linda, at the very end, wanted prompts and I missed it. So hi, Terry Brett, Leah, Sada Brooke. Hi, Tori, B. So, yeah. If anybody wants prompts, let me know. I'll write it down and we'll make a little list of who wants them. Uh, Missy, how you doing? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Good morning, lurkers. CK. Who else? Try to catch everybody at the beginning. Leona. So, yeah, good to see everybody. We didn't really do anything over the weekend. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Checking, checking. Carol. Kathleen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'll look up uh, I'll look up our IG in a minute. See what everybody's working on. If you did a prompt, let me know. I know Terry did a prompt. Uh, oh, I'm sorry you're not well, Missy. Get well soon. Oh, I hate that for you. Uh, Starla, you want prompts? Okay, I'm gonna write you down, Linda. So when I get a list of everybody that wants one, um. Let's see who else. Yeah, get well, Missy. Tori's still recovering from my birth. Oh, well, happy birthday, Tori. Can't party like you used to. Well, happy birthday. I did not know it was your birthday. Happy birthday, Tori. Uh, let's see. Scrolling through, seeing if I miss anybody. Uh, Terry will take three, take three or three sets. You want three, just three, Terry, like one set. Uh, let's see. So what's everybody got plans this week for anything? Just three. Okay. If anybody's got any plans this week for anything creative or are you working anything? I got it, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> just three don't give me three sets <laughs> uh, so well i'm glad you're glad you're here tori hope you had a happy birthday uh let's see what else hi janet how you doing how was your rest of your weekend we're just checking on everybody, seeing how their weekend went. Tori had a birthday. Uh, let's see. 
Hypercola, where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is, my little snapdragon. <laughs> How you doing, Pacola? How was your weekend? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen you. I'm gonna look up your um your IG as well when we go look at uh, Terry's. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. Hi, Jen. Who else? Uh, a few. You got a few? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got some new books. I got uh, some happy mail. And I think we're going to, we're probably going to color in the pot, the best of pot manga. So this is like a bunch of her, all her books combined, uh, Camilla Del Recco. I'm thinking that they're probably some from all her books, which I have all her books. I did not pull them. I'm not going to make y'all look through them. <laughs> but uh, I got, I did buy the best of at my uh, Books A Million. So um, yeah, we'll flip through that. I've not colored in it yet. I got a couple other books, art books here, a color and art book. I got a Disney quote book. Um, so I got some other books here to show as well. So we'll do that in a little bit. So Janice, I'm planning on getting my panties in a wad. <laughs> I said hi to you. I even clicked on you. Are you muted, Janet? I said hi to you. I even clicked on your name. Am I? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> And I said hi to Pecola, too. Um, hi, Helen. Hi, sister. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Nut. <laughs> I got on one of my painty shirts today. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see. Kristen, who else am I missing? So y'all know I like to say good morning to as many people as I can the first about 10 minutes. So uh, whoever comes in this early and call call you out. Hello, um, all the lurkers. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend as well. Feel free to pop in anytime. Uh, let's see. Okay, well. Uh, I've not seen anybody else come in right now. So I guess we could start showing the books and then we'll go over to IG, show what's going on over there. Um, okay, CK, you, when does your classes start back up, Chris? Um, CK, Chris is the our teacher in Mexico and uh, she had a little summer break, not much because she taught summer school as well. And I think she's going to be starting back up soon. Let's see. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you some of the books that I got. And then uh, put it in caps if you're talking to me. Make sure you have live chat selected at the top. Make sure you're watching in at least 720. I'm... Um, I'm streaming in 1080, but uh, at least be watching in 780. Well, you have to can set those settings yourself, especially if YouTube knocks you back. Um, you were too slow for sensibility, <laughs> Janet. You're so funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Janet, do you know what you're going to do today? Uh, Janet streams at 1 Eastern. I, in, I usually end my stream by noon. And then uh, Janet comes on an hour later at uh, 1, but I don't know what she's going to do today. I don't know. She knows what she's going to do today. So I did get quite a bit reading done this weekend. Um, hi, Shelly. Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. So put it in caps if you're talking to me because when I was looking away and talking about the books and everything else, y'all know I can miss seeing you. It's not on purpose. Oh, I did make some new stickers, too. I did make a couple new stickers. Oops. I know it's going to jiggle. I made a couple new stickers. I'll show those. I'm going the wrong way here. 
So I made fish. So this is the size of the stickers that I'll do giveaways. This one, this one I just made to fill my book. But this is the size of the sticker. So I made this one. Here's a you can see a better close up with this one. I like how its skin looks wrinkly. <laughs> That's the way the paint landed. <laughs> Hi, Foxy Brown. Yes, Debbie stickers. And then I also made um I also made some um, hummingbird stickers. So I did hummingbirds and the fish. So remember, I cut these out of my large uh, wrapping paper scroll, the packing tape, packing paper roll uh, that I paint on. Well, these were the some of the painted pieces off of that, and I made stickers out of them. So I think they turn out good. I, I really like the hummingbirds. The colors turned out really good. And uh, yeah, the fish. So yeah, so those are the new ones. Um, let's see what else do I have here. My first live since I retired. Well, welcome, Foxy Brown. <laughs> since your retirement, are you going to be making videos? And I don't know if I follow you. I'll have to go check your channel out later. Um, are you going to make videos, or what? Gonna what kind of art are you going to be working on now that you're retired? Hi, Tina. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks, Shelly. Let's see. Leah. Leah loves the clown and hummingbirds. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, um, again, this is, uh, it's, you know, a best of. So a bunch of her uh, other books are all compiled into one which y'all know, especially during October, I color in her um, creepy, creepy, pop manga creepy book. I've been coloring that for about, I don't know, three years, maybe four years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Debbie, okay. All right, Debbie. You're so, Debbie's got, I think she's collecting all my stickers, I tell you. <laughs> all right, Debbie, I'm writing that down, hummingbird. Hummers. I'll write down Hummers. How about that? <laughs> uh, thanks, Debbie, for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, yes, Hummers will be buzzing your way. Well, now that would be bees. We'll be flying your way. <laughs> oh, thanks, Debbie, for supporting the channel. Those, I'll get those out to you. Um, hi, Ann Lar. Who else am I missing? Katrina. Arlene, yes, you are a collector. <laughs> Whoops, where'd it go? There he is. <laughs> and then Tina saying good morning to every, the rest of the people. And good morning to you, Tina. Have you heard anything, updates on your kitty? I hope, um, I hope he's recovering or getting better, I hope. I haven't heard from you, so I don't know. Um, let's see. And I did not see if Janet... Oh, oh, you weren't on live. Okay. Yes, I was not ignoring you. Get your get your little link, get your little clicker on live, people. <laughs> you won't see all the chat if it's on top chat. So, um, yeah. So, Janet, have you decided what you're going to do today? <clears throat> Hi, 3G. <laughs> oh, let's see. All right, so let me get a sip of lemon water here. Pick him up Friday. He, he's mad he can't go outside anymore. Well, that's probably for the best, Tina. My cats don't go out either, except on a harness in the backyard. <laughs> they don't, they're, not, they're not outdoor cats at all. So uh, let's see. I don't, I don't know. I'll dream something up, though. Okay, Janet. All right. I know you will. Um, all right. So, again, put it in caps if you're talking to me because chat rolls by real fast. I don't see most of the chat till after the stream unless it's in caps. I do try to catch that. The mods try to answer questions if I don't get it or if I don't catch them. I do scroll back through my uh, chat later that night or the next morning to see who I miss, find the, any new people. So, if I miss you... I'm not doing it on purpose. Hi, Ann Makes. Don't forget to get, thank you. Um, 
so yeah at the beginning of the show first 10 15 minutes um you know when we have under 100 here then i can you know try to catch well i'm just sitting here reading you know when i'm going to start talking about books and stuff i'm probably going to miss some so yeah as we say don't get your panties in a wad <laughs> because I love all y'all being here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the best of. And I'm not colored in it. I'm not done anything. I didn't know. Uh, I did start one commission over the weekend, but um, that's that's about all. I did a lot of reading. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. So I don't know which books these are from. You know, she's got mermaids. She's got pop manga. She has the creepy. She has the dragons. I think she has like four, maybe five books. So she does. I don't think she says anywhere here where. Yeah, she doesn't have an index or anything. So they're just out of all her different books. Uh, there's going to be. Okay, let's just see this. Amanda said. There'll be a new book by coming in October. Beauties and Beasties. Okay, I'll be watching for that, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, I will be looking for that because I think I have all her books. And uh, yeah, so I'll look for that. So I'm just I, I'm going to color in this today, but I don't know what. I haven't decided. Some of these, like I've colored so many of these. I've colored, you know, so many of these in her other books. But um, we'll pick one and. Uh, and color something today out of it. So <clears throat> let's see, do I need to brighten it up just a tad? So, you know, when you change from white to dark paper, you gotta you gotta change the lighting. So but I've colored this one. I haven't colored a lot of the little ones like this, the detail ones, because when I do these on stream, these are a little harder to see. You know, when I'm coloring them. So I usually, when I color on stream, I pick, you know, larger things like this. Um, <clears throat> so that you can see them easy. Oh, I love this one. Little seal and the shells. I'm, I'm going to look while I'm thinking. I mean, while I see them, I might pick them. And I try not to pick something too complicated that I can't get finished that day. Although that does happen. Uh, let's see what happened with Brenda. Oh, she got a new a job interview today. Okay. All right, Brenda. I pray that it uh, it's the right fit for you that you get that job. And if it's not the right fit for you, you don't want the job because there's those jobs out there, those too. So either way, you know, consider it a blessing, however it goes, uh, Brenda. So I like this little bunny. Little antlers all over the place. Little, little bunny antlers. Like, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I do like that one, too. But So, narwhal. Do you like me a narwhal? I've colored this one in the creepy, creepy one. Colored that one in the creepy one. So, yeah, there's lots of good, good ones here. I do like this. I do like the octopus, so maybe we might pick that. Because, see, this I can probably finish in a, in a stream, depending on how, you know, how much I talk about books. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've done this one. I've done this one. My Yeti. He has, he has a companion in the, uh, in the creepy book. And uh, the, in his uh, companion has his arms lifted up. I gave him little underarm hairs. <laughs> I didn't pull all our books. I just, you know, I just wanted to go ahead and get through the new ones today. And uh, <clears throat> I've done her. Done this one. Done this one. Done the ghost. I've not done this one. <clears throat> so there's a lot in her books. Her books are packed full. They are packed full. So you do get a lot of... Um, images rather and this is the first time i've seen her do a compilation of her other books so she she does a lot of work i've done the mummy done her i know right i love the pop manga style and some of it's a little creepy in the in the creepy cool book but i still like it like them <clears throat> <laughs> I 
Janet. Look at Janet. I saw that, Janet. I saw that up there at the top that just scrolled off. You think I didn't see that? <laughs> Janet's so fun. <laughs> Uh, and I've colored him before too. So I picked two. Well, I'll either do this one, the seal, or this one with the octopi with the little hearts. I do like it. I'll have to decide. Oh, you know what? Those are, I think those are supposed to be his little pads. See how I think this is supposed to be, or is that a squid? I don't know. I think that's a squid because the squid has those long arms with these look, long arms with those kind of feet like this. Well, I don't know if they're considered feet, but I, I think this is supposed to be a squid, not an octopus. Although the, the little uh, suckers kind of threw me there, but I think that's a squid. And this is supposed to be like this part of his little foot, I think. So that might be, of course, it doesn't matter. I color as many colors I want. I'm not, I don't ever color these like realistically. So we'll probably try to get to this in a little while. The best of pop manga coloring. Camilla De Recco. <clears throat> the ISBN is 978-198-4862761. And I got mine at Books A Million, but I know they're going to be on a, they're going to be on a, what do you call it? A Amazon. Definitely a squid, Kristen. <laughs> and Rachel, wherever you are traveling, that's for you. Um, hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday to you, too. Hope you had a good weekend. Hi, Devin. Devin put up a new video. There's, let me get back. Devin, Devin put up a new video over the weekend. <coughs> so y'all check that out. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Ann did too. Ann put out a video over the weekend. Usually when they're, you know, and I, I expect people to do it on my stream too. If you're watching the recording, you can scrub through, you know, you get to a part that you don't want to, you know, you can, not I'll say ignore, but you can slide the little bar here, slide the little bar over and you can move the video right along to wherever you want to watch it. <laughs> Because I do that with a lot of live streams that I miss. If I'm not there live, I do try to, you know, catch them. But, you know, my Mandalorian there. <laughs> Don't email me. <laughs> okay, so um, the tiny URL link is no longer working. Hmm, Tina. I haven't tried to do a tiny URL in a while, so I don't know. <clears throat> don't know what that could be the issue could be there so yeah good to see you julie i hope you had a good weekend <clears throat> let's see okay so i got that one i got it at uh, books a million <clears throat> i need another drink of water might have to go get a bite of banana or something i always say that my voice my throat feels fine until i uh, start talking and then it's like it's really scratchy so I did put up, uh, don't forget, uh, I do put new books in the community tab every Monday. I try to. Some, once in a while it's happened on Tuesday, but my, almost it's almost always on a Monday. So I already posted new books in the community tab of which I'm showing today. Most of the time it's not books, new books that I'm showing that, that day or that week, but today it was. So I posted three books on the community tab. So, but there's 20, I think I'm up to week 29. So make sure and go look at um, all the weeks. There's no description. There's no links. They're just covers of the books. You can look at, you can go and look them up yourself if they look interesting to you. Um, then let's see what else do I have. Um, maybe we'll go ahead real quick before we get into the books and dive into the IG post. Um, also, uh, Selena has her junk journals <clears throat> up on her Etsy, Amore Fabrics. I did buy one. I don't need another junk journal, but I might combine it with some a couple others. So, <clears throat> sorry guys. Uh, so, Amore Fabrics on YouTube and on uh, Etsy. She has she always does uh, little videos when she has deals going on. 
So go check out her Etsy shop. That's where I get all my fabrics as well. My uh, fancy fabrics, not all my fabrics, but my fancy fabrics, the, the uh, indie, you know, the uh, sari silks and the cantha, you know, some of the nice fabrics that she has. Hi, Vol. Um, okay, well, yeah, this one, Vol, is a best of because she has like four or five other books. I did not pull those today. I, I have them and colored in lots of them. But I found this one at Books A Million this last weekend, and it is um, the best of. So it's a whole bunch of her book uh, books compiled. Um, let's see. And good morning, Vol. And so... Um, Yeah, so let's go over to uh, let's go over to IG here. Uh, let's see. So I wanted to show if y'all missed it. I let me go to mine first. Oh, I gotta turn off the Wi-Fi here. It's so I don't know why IG in this room the Wi-Fi sucks. I don't know why, but it does. So let me just turn my Wi-Fi off in here and go to data. Uh, let's see who else am I missing. Uh, all right. Mm. So last, uh, what day did I post this? I, on Catterday, Saturday and Catterday, I did post um, <laughs> uh, a combo Barbie and, uh, <laughs> and Catterday. So um, I bought these and I did put, there's a link in here to her, Camilla Do Cam Camellia Dolls. And I put her info in there and she makes these, she's in Poland and she made these little uh, halter top and this shawl. And uh, so here's a picture of it like by itself. She included little earrings <laughs> and her, her, all her information's in there. So um, I did a, a combo Catterday and Barbie. <laughs> I know, right? Look, I mean, look at, can you imagine that crocheting that? I'm guessing it's crochet. It's one of y'all will know. So tiny. And uh, the the top is still on the doll downstairs, but I have here's her um here's the little <clears throat> here's the little shawl here. Got a cat hair. A cat hair on there. There we go. Because she wore it up against the cats. So look at that. The detail and the attention to detail is just amazing. So all her detail, all her uh, information is on my um, Instagram under this post right there. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Then I posted my garden is still doing good for peppers and tomatoes. There's the peppers I picked. <laughs> and uh, you can't really see my tomatoes, my cherry tomatoes are right up here in the front. But these are all peppers and there's my herbs. So it's, uh, I did move my herbs out of those little uh, containers and put them back here in the garden. So look how good my herbs are doing back here. So, and then the rest of all this is peppers. So, yeah. So then I got, <laughs> uh, y'all know the Barbie movie, right? So anyway, I did not go see it. I have no plans to go see it, but I used, I do have, I did get the new Barbie and Ken based from the movie. So there's the Barbie and Ken from the movie. Uh, but I did a little uh, swimming pool scene. So here's the little swimming pool scene here. There's me and Janet sitting there. I got my cell phone taking pictures. <laughs> well, then one of the little dolls is going down the pool into the pool. And then, so y'all know I like to do, I like to make my Barbies to be <laughs> like comic. This is my version of my comics, right? Movie? What movie? <laughs> and then just another picture of them. <laughs> I had so much fun with that. Okay, so let's see. Let me go over to Terry Brett, and we'll look at uh, look at what she posted from the uh, 
prompts from last week. If anybody else wants a prompt, Linda, R, and Terry both want prompts. I wrote them down. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. It was fun. Hubster did help me. He said, you want me to go get you a bucket of water? I went, please. <laughs> so he was helping me with uh, setting, you know, carrying stuff out. He hauled a bunch of stuff out for me. Because it's a lot to go set that up. You know, and uh, <laughs> even though my grass was, oh, thank you, Tina. My grass was, it's just was mowed, but it was still kind of tall right there. So we all kind of sunk into the grass up to our knees, but that was okay. It was fun. It was fun. It's supposed to be like, you know, the pool in your backyard, not the swimming pool, you know, community pool or something. Thank you, Tina. Hi, Kathy Bird. Uh, let's see, Carol, Canadian Carol um want some prompts okay i'm just writing them down because i'll do them i'll do them all at the same time hi bo beanie i know he is devin he's a trooper he's a trooper to help me he's probably watching oh my god did you have to tell him i helped you with, with your barbie so you know for hubster in case he's he's there in case he's behind he's back there here you go hubster we got a man card for you <laughs> There you go, Hubster. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so Terry did two different ones. She um she had um this one were the first were Chagall, Candle, and Any Bird. Y'all have to go look at them too. I mean, I pinch and drag because you can't just click on them and make them big on IG. So go over to Terry Brett's. Well, ain't, let's see, what does it say? Well, ain't that just the strangest bird? <laughs> so she's uh, using Chagall as her inspiration. And then in this one, the next one was um, Pegasus, <clears throat> Taxi, and City. So she did two versions. So she, didn't, she said she didn't like the first one. I like them both. So she did two versions of Pegasus, Taxi, and City. So here's the first one. So the Pegasus is, you know, the winged horse, mythical winged horse, and it's now become a taxi. <laughs> Let's see, what does she say here? Uh, starting this taxi service was a great idea. So there's that one. And then she did a second one here. So she did the second one here. I'm loving my new job. <laughs> So, yeah, Terry's really rocking the, uh, she's really rocking the prompts. Let's see, who else is here? Rebecca, who else? So I said hi to Kathy Berg. Hi, Terry Strange. Good to see you. Terry did uh, her her thoughts on the Barbie movie and on the um, uh, the other one, too. What was the name of the other one that came out? She did, I didn't, I didn't watch the second half of your um, review, Terry. I just watched the Barbie review one. Uh, but Terry did a review of the Barbie movie and, uh, let's see what else. Shaz, who else? She does Pecola. She does rock those prompts. Okay. So, um, I showed you my IG, showed you Terry's. Oh, I wanted to show, I think Debbie has some, uh, color book pages here. Let's look at that. So Deb is... There's Deb's channel, right? Or her uh, IG. And she does a lot of, she does color book pages. She does all kinds of, she does snark. <laughs> Janet probably loves her snark. I'm sorry. I don't remember ordering a glass of your opinion. <laughs> her and Janet have the same snark sense of humor. <laughs> And uh, so she's done some color book pages, uh, or this one is, what is this one from? Yeah, this is a Carolina Kupakowski book, and I do have that first one. I don't think I have the second one. I think she has a third one out. And uh, so you, you, she has a very recognizable um, print. You know, the printing of her books are very recognizable. And she has this one she colored from, um, this is from the Lana Green one that we colored out of the last two weeks. Well, here's one that Deb did. Look, isn't that great? I love it, Deb. Good job. And I like the stencil background. Don't know. Let me a stencil background. And uh, so, yeah. So go over there and check out Deb. There it is, deb.e.mixmedia. 
and uh yeah so uh yeah let's see who else Uh, da, da, da. Oh, so she's in like yes. All right, am I am I okay? <laughs> I think Tina's having issues with her internet, so hopefully it's just Tina, not you know my stream. Let me know if it is. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna color in this one later today. I'm gonna show the other books I got. <coughs> Again, I did make two new stickers over the weekend, so they are. <clears throat> I made the clownfish. These are based off of this guy was about this big, this painting. It's about this big. And uh, I shrunk them down to a sticker. And the same thing for my hummingbirds. So I got the hummingbird stickers. So you're welcome, Deb. Let's see. Hi, Flo. <clears throat> Let me go get a bite of something. I My throat is so scratchy. It's just, I'm going to be... Tickling, you know, coughing, you know. I'll be right back. Okay, I just got me a bite of banana, so my throat's not so scratchy. Um, all right. Let's see. All right, let's go to this one next, because we're talking about color books. So this is the Art of War coloring book, illustration by Pete Katz, who he did the uh, graphic, no he did a graphic novel of it. I won't show that one. I won't pull that one, show that right now. But he has a graphic novel of the Art of War, and he made a color book based off of his graphic novel. Um, thanks, Bo. Um, <clears throat> so it's he does have a few pages that he has colored in the front. And uh, he has a little intro here talking about how they're based off of his graphic novel. This The color book came out in 2022. So it has all the different uh, chapters, you know, or topics from the Art of War. And uh, so he has it broke out real nice. So he does have a few pages throughout <clears throat> that he's colored. But then like here, let me show you here. Here's the... Here's one that's based off of it. It doesn't have, does it have everything in it? No, it doesn't have the, well, the clouds are more, you know, <clears throat> illustrated. And then he has the, um, the quotes from the Art of War. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, I think this will be fun to color too. And read. And read. So he has the, he also has a graphic novel. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't pull it to, to uh, show today, but uh, I just kind of wanted to show the color book that I've got over the weekend. This got this at books a million. So yeah, I'm trying to read chat at the same time. And all this text right here is out of the, the book, The Art of War. So he's got the quotes here. And then he's got, you know, the difference. I love this. Love this one. And then he has the occasional colored page throughout. So, yeah. I'll give you all the ISBN number. It's a pretty thick book, too. It's got a lot of pages. A lot of detail in, in them, you know? Like I said, though, these, these are his illustrations from his graphic novel that he did from The Art of War.
So yeah, I'll just kind of So, yeah, so you can see it's a pretty big book for a color book, especially. Okay, so the ISBN on this one is 978-166-720453. And uh, it was only, I mean, I thought it was a, for $14.99 for a book that big. It, that's, you know, that was pro, that was a good price to me. You know, and I got it at Books A Million. But again, you can get it on Amazon. So I'm going to show that. Then I got this one. This is an art book of, of The Promised Neverland. And apparently this was only in Japanese until this last year. So the last, uh, it was originally in 2020. And I think this one came out in 2022 in English. So it's an art book by this artist. <clears throat> I don't want to mispronounce the names. Let me see if I can find it kind of big. Here we go, right there. And it's a girl. I'm not going to try to pronounce her name, but that's her. And uh, thank you, Janet. Put she just put the. Uh, and y'all later, um, sometimes the chat doesn't appear right away, like immediately after a stream. Sometimes it can take. The most I've ever had it take was two days for the chat to reappear, but that's a rare thing. Most of the time the chat comes up within an hour or two after the stream. So after the stream, the chat will appear. And because um, I've had people go, your chat's not there. Well, sometimes it just takes, because I'm streaming on Ustream. So sometimes it takes an hour or two for it to upload onto YouTube, uh, even though you're watching it on YouTube. So, because I that's what I, I select when I'm streaming on Ustream, I select to uh, stream on YouTube, but the chat does not uh, appear sometimes immediately. So, um, give it a give it a couple hours if it does it. And I said said all that to say that the links will also be active links in the chat later. So, yeah, let's see who else am I missing? Hi, Ruth, how's it going? Hope you're you and your family are doing well. Thank you, Flo. I appreciate that. Flo's always going to remember the thumbs up. Thank you, Flo. Flo's one of those encouraging people that you will be happy to have if she visits your stream. Um, there's a lot of y'all, but Flo's always been one. And uh, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to just do a little bit of um, her. So she's got some of the graphic novel here and uh, some of the art. And it's just amazing manga art. I love this. I love this so much. And uh, then in the back, she has uh, sketches of her work. So it's a hardback. So it's a little more pricey. But the, the artwork is just, you know, really stunning. The colors are very, you know, it's on, it's on uh, shiny paper. So it's very... Um, color saturated <clears throat> thank you janet janet's putting links just linking away <laughs> and i can't according to tina tiny url i don't know that janet ever uses tiny url <laughs> so here's the link just click it <laughs> love you janet oh but look at this. isn't that just so nice <laughs> So if you like manga or just any art in general, you know, this is a beautiful book and it's really thick. So look, I'm not even a third of the way through. So I'm just going to kind of flip here. Different uh, uh, explanations of the pieces. But the scenes are just so stunning. <clears throat> can a flip book look can't flip and look in books like this for I know right Amanda for sure for sure there's so much detail just to sit and look at each one 
and you just get so much out of each one if you really study them. Look, I like this one here. And then here's the concept work. So the sketches. Let's see if I can hold it up a little. So the whole rest of the back of the book <clears throat> are the concept sketches. There's just so much to this book. So Janet did put the link in, but I'll give you the ISBN. <clears throat> uh, 978-1-9747-28961. And this one was $29.99. It's all, it's, as far as I know, it's only in hardback. It's pretty. I think it's pretty new in the English version. <clears throat> There's the information right there. So I got that. Then um, I'll save this one for a minute. I'm going to save this one for a minute. Look, I start, I'm sticking, I'm doing a, like a scene on my background a little at a time. <laughs> but I do have to end up putting tape on them because they do peel up because I'm always rubbing my hand over it. Okay, so I got a couple other books here and I got some happy mail. Uh, but I did get this one. This is a, a 2023. It's a new book, the official Walt Disney quote book. And it's all his quotes. And it's broke out by, and there's there's uh, black and white photos throughout, but it's broke out by topic. I'll read the contents here in just a second. But I love Disney quotes. If you've ever read any of the, in, the Imagineers books, and I've shown some of those before too, some of the Imagineers books on inspiration and ideas and um, and all that, then, um, you'll, you'll appreciate, uh, Disney quote book. So he's got, here, let me go ahead and read you the tops. So maybe we'll read some of this one, um, you know, along with my, the inspiration quote book that we read every week when I remember, <laughs> when I remember to read it. Okay. So, uh, I won't say chapter one, chapter two, I'm just going to read them as the chapters. That's what each one has a chapter. Film and animation, Mickey Mouse on storytelling, Disney theme parks, Walt Disney Company. So there's a chapter on each one of these with his quotes. Success and failure, money, children, young and old, family, education, America, animals and nature, art, music and dance, progress and innovation on television, enlighten, uh, enlightenment, exploration and experimentation, uh, life, health and wellness, love, kindness and peace on wonder, gratitude and appreciation. So those are the 21 chapters of topics that he covers. So if y'all heard one you want me to read, I'll read it real quick. If you if you caught any of them while I was reading them, if you caught any of the uh, chapter titles. Let's see, who else am I missing? Good morning, everybody coming in. If I missed you, thanks everybody for being here, lurkers. So do y'all have a chapter where I, I can read a couple of the quotes or should I just pick one at random? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, Janet, you're on it this morning, girl. You must have had two, two, uh, coffee's delivered to you this morning because you're on those links <laughs> janet's snapping on it uh let's see who else is here kelly in australia uh <laughs> all right well, let's pick one because i've only skimmed i i just kind of glanced through it i had just got this as well so i haven't read just you know some of them Let's see. Um, let's go to on um, enlightenment, exploration, and experimentation. That's chapter 16, page 255. This book has like almost 300 pages, I think. All right. So let's see what he says on enlightenment, exploration, and experimentation. There he is taking some 
pictures with an old camera or video, one or the other. All right. And out of our years of experimenting and experience, we learn one basic thing about bringing pleasure and knowledge to people of all ages and conditions, which goes to the very roots of public communication. That is this, the power of relating facts as well as fable in story form. And I did notice that he does talk a lot. I got a splinter there. Um, I did notice that he talks a lot about um, the importance of story. I mean, that's like his like main thing that I, I grasped from just skimming through the book. It's, he's all about the story. Uh, let's see, Taylor, who else? <clears throat> okay. I'm just very curious. Got to find out what makes things tick. And I've always liked working with my hands. My father was a carpenter. I even apprenticed, <clears throat> I even apprenticed to my own machine shop here and learned the trade. Since my outlook and attitudes are ingrained, ingrained throughout our organization, all our people have this curiosity. It keeps us moving forward, exploring, experimenting, opening new doors. <clears throat> Let me get another sip of water here. So, yeah. The span of years... <clears throat> Maybe I should wait a little bit to read because my voice is not that good yet. <clears throat> the span of years has not much altered my fundamental ideas about mass amusement. Experience has merely perfected the style and the method and the techniques of presentation. My entertainment credo has not changed a whit. Strong combat and soft satire are in all our story cores. Virtue triumphs over wickedness in our fables. Tyrannical bullies are routed or conquered by our good little people, human or animal. Basic morality is always deeply implicit in our screen legends, but they are never sappy or namby-pamby. They are never pray, pray or preach. They are pitched toward the happy and satisfactory ending. There's no cynicism in me, and there is none allowed in our work. <clears throat> So I'll stop there. But anyway, that's the official Walt Disney quotes, all his quotes. And uh, Janet posted the link, but the ISBN is 978-1368-061872. And this, is, this one just came out this year. So I should wait and read proceeds to you. <laughs> so there's that one. Okay, then <clears throat> this one, I was, um, I, uh, Christopher Runciman's uh, wife, Sarah, um, Sarah, Lori uh, re recommends this one. And I've not read any of Jan Karen's books at home in Midford. How many of y'all read any of, apparently there's a lot of them. I don't, this is the first one. I don't know how many are in it, but this is the first in the series. At home in Mitford. <clears throat> Here's a, like the map. Uh, I'll read the cover here to you. And uh, so I don't know if anybody's read it, any of the Mitford books. Let's see. All right. Uh, nobody's answered yet. So, um, but anyway, I got this because uh, Christopher's um, wife, Lori, uh, r recommended it. A couple of times on his show. All right, so this is the book that started it all. It's easy to feel at home in Mitford. In these high green hills, the air is pure, the village is charming, and the people are generally lovable. Yet Father Tim, the bachelor rector who yearns for something more, suddenly finds he has more than he can handle. His life is turned upside down with the appearance of a very large dog, an attractive new neighbor, and a lovable but unloved boy named Dooley. Seemingly overnight, Father Tim's quiet life isn't so quiet anymore. Heartfelt and moving, this is the book where it all began. So, there she is there. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> oh, so Arlene's read them. She said she read the, the, Mid, the Mid, Midford books that were at the library. I think it's Midford, but I know it autocorrects. 
I get I got it, Arlene. So yeah. And uh, let's see what year did it come out? The first one anyway. 2015, I think. <clears throat> and here's some here's the list of the ones. Because you know, this book's been republished into this for and the to this one. And I love me a hardback book. Uh, just that's just I like they're more comfortable for me to read. So it looks like 2015. Yeah, 2015 was this first one. So yeah, and uh, trying to see any more information, but it looks so. Uh, I'm I'm anxious to read. It's kind of like you know. To me, this is a chill book. It's a chill book. <laughs> I'm really like looking forward to that. Okay, then the last book I have to show you. Well, I I got one in Happy Mail. I'm going to show that in a minute. But these are the ones that I purchased, and I did get the uh, mitt for. Let me give you all the ISB. Janet posted it. I got this off of Amazon. <clears throat> uh, nine seven eight zero three nine nine one eight three five six zero. But you know, if you just put in the cover here, you'll you'll find it. But this is the first one. All right. <clears throat> All righty, let's see. So this one I got on a, I'm going to say I got it on a whim. I always look, if y'all don't look in the children's book section, you should always look in the children's book section, the self-help books. That's where the color books in the bookstores first started appearing, at least around here, was in the self-help. That's where the color books first, like years ago, however many years ago that was, 10, no, not quite that long, when um, the color books were really, really popular. And then they started, you know, putting rows and stack outs and every bookstore had them at the, you know, front of the, <laughs> it was really saturated with color books. And, and yes, I did. I did buy a lot of them. <laughs> well, anyway, so always look in the children's book section. And uh, I have some other books that are like this where they have the flip outs, the fold outs, the doors, the windows. And if you have a dragon one, a gnome one. Uh, some of the other ones, I gave a couple of them to Cameron that he liked them, but I have quite a few of these kind of, uh, uh, these kind of books that uh, have pop outs and stuff. So this one's a flower fairies. And um, if y'all recognize the flower fairies, I can't remember the woman that did the flower fairies. Um, I don't know. It's probably in this tiny print here, but anyway, flower fairies, magical doors. Discover the Doors of Fairyopolis. And uh, <laughs> Janet, you must have really had your coffee this morning. Now, I am not going to read the book. I will do a flip through and show you some of the doors. And uh, so did you see the little foot go? See? So uh, <laughs> I'm really, um, I'm really excited to uh, have this book. I did read it already, of course. So, and uh but the story is really nice. The story is really good. So this one has a little dimensional, <clears throat> little dimensional scene there. It's a little tuck there. And the colors. And it's just, isn't it just beautiful? I know, right, Debbie? It's just beautiful. So, and then this one has like a, like a glass scene cover over it. Hol like holographic type thing and uh this one has oh you got to pull over here i mean the work that goes into making a book like this you know this one has a little clothesline little fairy clothesline and this book when i it did come wrapped in cellophane so i bought it sight unseen as far as the inner inside but i know these kinds of books and how the quality of them so uh, but i thought i'd show it to you oh, let me turn down the brightness again uh flashing out because of changing from white to you know, colors and um <clears throat> You want to try to buy one that's wrapped so that, you know, make sure everything is, you know, not disturbed when you buy it. Oh, wait, you see, the, I'm going to show you all the last page. Wait, wait for it. Okay, so here's the last page in the book. And it's, you know, there's only, let's see, how many pages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen pages. Well, seven f flips, fourteen pages. But look at this. 
Wait for it. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Wait for it. Uh, C Cecily Barker. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Look at this, guys. I'm going to hold it up. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? <laughs> Just amazed. I was so amazed when I opened this last page. There's the whole Fairyopolis world. So if you... Um, if you uh, have kids or grandkids that are of the age, of, or just if you love it, you know, like I do, uh, it's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful book. And uh, yeah, and I do have a small collection of children's books. <clears throat> I say small, I probably have probably a good bit. All right, so this is 9780723265. Uh, wait, let me start over. I got it wrong. 9780723263517. What wonders hide behind the fairy doors? Open them to discover the magical world of Fairyopolis, where the fairies play and laugh. But you must be quick because some of the fairies don't wish you to be seen yet. I'm reading, a, I'm almost done. I've got one chapter left in a. Uh, cozy mystery on a, a bookstore in England and uh, it, she only has two out so far in this series and I'd never heard of her until that the first book so I'm just I'm about finished I only got one chapter left I saved it <laughs> for today I have one chapter left in the um, cozy mystery and uh, there's a children's book part of the uh, story involves a children's book in that in that book and uh, so the children's book story uh, connects to solving the murder and missing person. And uh, one of the little things that I'd never heard this before, maybe all that have know more about fairies and pixies. and But apparently pixies are, they try to steal you. So they try to um, like kidnap you pixies do so anyway they were hiding in the bluebells and and that's a side that's just a sidebar to the whole big story of the cozy mystery but anyway it just made me think of that when i was looking at the fairies here okay so oh i also got this i try to buy this hubster and i both love this uh this magazine and it comes out i think every other month i think it comes out every other month but it's retro fan yeah july uh, august so yeah and uh, there's all just retro stuff in it. Like this one has, I was a teenage Frankenstein. Well, I'll just kind of show you some of it. This one has a, uh, uh, and they always have some kind of actor back from the day and comic books back from the day. This one is Captain Kangaroo. Um, I'm sure some of y'all remember Captain Kangaroo. Hi, Jane. Nasty little pixies. I know. So I just did not know the lore, the lore, L-O-R-E. I did not know the lore of the pixies that, that that could be a possibility in the lore. So anyway, here's Captain Kangaroo. Um, I do remember watching Captain Kangaroo as a child. Um, so yeah, there's all in Mr. Green Jeans. Uh, so yeah, there's all kinds of different scenes from the movie, from the TV show. And, uh, then they have little quizzes and, you know, here's a uh, different, uh, new comics out on, uh, collectors, um, teenage, I was a teenage werewolf. <laughs> uh, so apparently, and I think Hubster read this article and they said that apparently Michael Landon did a, um, uh, on a uh, teenage werewolf. He, he apparently in touched by an angel. Is that the name of the show in a touched by an angel show, Michael Landon, he was also, you know, the dad in little house on the prairie, but in touched by an angel, he apparently did a, uh, like a, I don't say a spoof, but he carried over his, you know, teenage years as a werewolf and put that in the, uh, episode. 
the episode. Um, it was a Halloween episode in Touch by an Angel. And they used some of the clips from back when he was um, the uh, werewolf. <laughs> so I thought that was in it. I already read this whole thing. Uh, <clears throat> Super Friends Part 2. So they have articles on all different comics. It's just the uh, it's just um, the you know culture of the TV, the books, the comics of that of the era. You know, <clears throat> so yeah, there's different things here. Challenge of the Super Friends and uh, James. There's a whole article here on James Garner. Working with Ditko. This I don't know if this is supposed to be new. Color soft cover. I don't know what year that is. That one looks like it would be good. Well, I, I love any kind of art, comics, or otherwise. So, um, but anyway, went Rockford Files and some Mad Magazine takes on Garner. <clears throat> more mad magazine stuff Chinese kung fu all different kinds of books and things on karate and kung fu and um, <laughs> danger and happy toiling you'll put your eye out kid <laughs> more comics <clears throat> so it's just very enjoyable and if you grew up in this era then you will totally love this magazine and you can get a subscription to it but i try to catch them at the bookstore um every uh every other month i try to catch it uh don drysdale <laughs> from uh, what do you call it uh the family what's it call it the family you know uh uh, you know, what you call the, the blended family show. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but um, just different scenes from different movies. I mean, different TV shows. Uh, more comics. <clears throat> Jack Kirby. More comics and chat about all the different comics. So there's a lot of stuff to read and look at. Brady Bunch. Thank you, Debbie. Brady Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking at 50 different TV shows, and that one just didn't come to me. So anyway, it's called Retro Fan. And uh, so you get it, you can subscribe to it or you can get it at your bookstore. Um, all right, so then in my happy mail, I got this from a nice letter from Rainbow uh, Griffin. And uh, dear Dee Dee, I've been watching the recordings of your live streams for years, and you've been such an inspiration to me. I was cleaning out my bookcase recently and found this edition of Salome by, uh, with Audrey Beardsley is the, uh, as the illustrator. I know you like him, so I decided to gift you this book in gratitude for your warmth and generosity. Your humor always cheers me up, and I thank you for that. Rainbow Griffin, and uh, it's in a little card here. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, I, Aubrey Beardsley was one of the first artists when I, I would say, beyond just coloring and drawing as a kid, probably in late uh, junior high maybe early high school when I first heard of Aubrey Beardsley in an art class or something. And, um, of course, it's, you know, there's naked, you know, I had to check it out of the library. Um, it was in the library. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, it because it's pen and ink drawings. And I've always loved pen and ink and black and white with maybe a touch of color. But I, um, you have this poster, Rebecca? <laughs> and uh, I know, wasn't it? So, and I did, I'd sent her some stickers. So I sent her out some stickers over the weekend. And um, yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, well, that's probably what it was because, <laughs> yeah, it was a, a play. 
So anyway, um, 20 Beardsley illustrations and designs. So, and, and what I like about this, I don't know if she's the one that annotated it, but it's the book is annotated. I love annotated books when I find them because I love to see what other people think about their annotations. See, there's a little bit of nudity. Close your eyes. Don't get upset about a booby. We'll have a, we'll have the uh, post-it notes at the ready. <laughs> So um, thank you, Rainbow Griffin. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe you could let me know if you're the one that annotated the book because there's some annotations. I'm going to take a peek so that this is probably the cover of the play. Um, the, you know, the, what do you call it when you get one of those things when you go into it? <laughs> the information, you know, the handouts. <laughs> so here's all some information on here. Okay, hang on. Well, we don't want to offend. Well, I do like to make this a, uh, a what do you call it, a uh, family friendly, family friendly channel. So I do go out of my way, right? And uh, uh, the program, thank you. <laughs> See, when you're streaming, you've got like a thousand things on your mind, and little things like what's that called? Oh yes, a program. Thank you. <laughs> Slipped your mind. Okay, so I'm going to have some post-it notes here. But I love Aubrey Beardsley's artwork from the first time I saw it. I just love Aubrey Beardsley. So here's the person, you know, the play and everything here. So, yeah. All right, so let me just take a peek. I'm going to take a little peek, but look at the artwork. It's just stunning. How, let me see. Let me brighten it back up now. We're on white paper. So we've got to switch the lighting again. <laughs> I know it is because you have so much you're thinking of and trying to read the chat and answer questions and concentrate, and especially while you're arting, you know, it is, it does, uh, you're trying to think of a lot of stuff. Okay. So like, look, here's some annotations. Mm -mm, let's skip over to the art. And if you look up Aubrey Beardsley, you'll see, you can read about his life and his art and, you know. So this is the whole play. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but I just love the um may okay, found one guy who makes her parents afraid. Oh, so I guess they're analyzing the play. Maybe they took a class on the play and they're analyzing the play. Wow, oh, that's interesting. But I love the use of negative space by Beardsley. The, the negative space is amazing. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys, but, uh, you know, it's uh, sorry, not sorry. But I am trying to be family friendly. But, you know, it is an adult channel. This is not a channel made for kids. So, <clears throat> but look at the negative space. I just love the way his use of negative space. <laughs> I know, right, Rebecca? All right, let's see. I'm skipping over all the play, the play part. <laughs> Get to the art part. <clears throat> I think I missed that one. But look at that negative space and the composition. It's just stunning. Just, but this just really attracted me to pen and ink back in the day. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the nudity is there. <laughs> Very boobyful, yes. <laughs> Some more annotations. I just think that's so cool. And then there's the beheading. Mm -hmm. So it's just so very, very cool. So, yeah. So thank you so much, Rainbow Griffin, for the book. So there is that. All right. Um, then I got some happy mail from Devin with a nice note saying share what you want. And then this one is from... This one's from Linda and Tim. So I got Linda and Tim happy mail, and I got Devin, Devin Rex happy mail. Where'd she go? 
So if y'all know, Devin does amazing jelly prints, and she sent me a bunch of papers. So I think we are going to do a giveaway today with some of Devin's. She said she made me a nice note. Here's a, um, like, a, whoops, her note, and she sent me these little cards. Um, they're like little, uh, I think they were called, were they called cigarette cards? I think that's what they were. I think they used to come in cigarettes. But they're all space. They're all space themed, so I will love to use these in my uh, collage. And uh, then she sent um, a nice note that says, "I put these, I put these vintage space cards aside for you. Here are a few jelly prints. You should quote a few jelly prints for your flow book. I tried to make most of them in colors. I could see you using them um, to make your fabulous worlds." So she said, thanks for your support. And so this is one of her cards she has printed out there. So, yes. And I will keep the card and the little space cards. And there's the note. But I thought I would um, I would do a share. I'll share some of these because they are amazing. I mean, I'm sure she doesn't mind. You don't mind, do you, Devin, if I share some of these? Do a giveaway with some of them? I'm sure she doesn't mind, but we will put a note on there that they are Devin Rex's uh, jelly plated, jelly plated papers. So and I got another note here. What's this one? Okay, I can throw that note away. I show that. I can show that. Got that note away. I still have to do. Um, I still have to pull um, prompts for Linda, Terry, and Carol. Uh, okay, she doesn't mind at all. Okay, so I, I mean, I'm going to make a note, Devin Papers, so that I remember that when we do a giveaway, and we'll do, a, we'll give away a couple of them, U.S. and a couple of, um, what do you call it, uh, international. So, and I get to pick. I'm going to, I'll pick, I'll send, I'll send, uh, um, I'll do, I'll do two giveaways, U.S., two giveaways, um what do you call it? Uh, international. So these are some of her beautiful, if y'all want to know how to make beautiful uh, jelly plated papers, then you need to watch Devin. And she did have another uh, video over the weekend showing a lot of her stuff. So here, let's open this up here. I'm going to open them all out so we can look at them. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Oh my gosh, they're just awesome. If you do any kind of collage work, these are stunning. These are stunning. The eye. <clears throat> so I want to flip through them. Um, she said, I don't mind it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so some of them might be a little stuck because, you know, they are pinky papers. Let's see here. We'll get them unstuck. We'll get them unstuck. Uh-oh, that one tore. Going through the heat of summer in the mail. I'm surprised they all aren't stuck, Devin. Because going through the heat in the 90-degree weather, especially down here in Georgia, I think that's one. So that's one. That's just double-sided there. That one. This one, which I love that shell. I'm probably going to keep that one. I love that shell. Um, I love these. Um, there's a name for these. Somebody can tell me because it's not coming to me right now. The 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 fossil. The, this particular fossil has a name. Does anybody know what that fossil is called? This shoe horse um, shoe horse crab fossil. This has a particular name, but I can't think of it right now. <laughs> I know, Dean. I just rip it off. Um, no, that's okay. But probably the heat too, Devin. Because, you know, when it gets 90-something 90, 90 degrees down here and 100% humidity, I'm surprised they all aren't stuck together. Yeah, that's what it is. A trillo, is it a trivial bite? A trillio bite? That's what I'm, yeah, that's what that is. That's what Devin says. <laughs> I knew there was a name for it. And it's just that particular horseshoe crab fossil. Isn't it that has that name? Yeah, Tina goes. It was 110 degrees in Florida yesterday. Hi there. Yeah, yes. It's a, a it's a horseshoe crab fossil, and that fossil is called a tribule. That tri, 
Trilobite, I guess, as I said. Thank you, uh, Bobini and Devin. <laughs> and good morning, uh, she spins, i.e. little foot. So anyway, yeah, I love that. So I'm, I'll, I'll be keeping this one. Sorry, I'll, I'll be keeping that one. Okay, <laughs> but they're all beautiful. And if you want to see Devin make these and talk about how she does transfers, how she makes these. So here's one of her transfers. So they're just amazing, beautiful. So I'm going to open them all up. We're going to look at them all. There's plenty here. I'm going to do a giveaway. I'll give two to each giveaway. So if we do two, four, six, that'll be eight. That'll be eight total that I'll give away. So here's another one of the little ones. So look, oh, just love them, Devin, so much. Love your uh, jelly plated papers. And yes, I will use them in my collage. So, aren't y'all impressed with Devin's jelly plating skills? Skills, skills. <laughs> Oh, uh, trilobite. Oh, thank you. Yes, Jane. I knew it's, yeah, trilobite. I got to write that down. Exactly. Tri See, give me some ph phonetics and I'm good. Trilobite. B -I -T -E. And it's T R I. Okay. All right. I wrote, I wrote that down to put in my uh, notes. Thank you, Jane. Trilobite. <laughs> Hi, Scrap Girl. Um, yes. Uh, all right, let's keep rolling here. Then we will do a, um, then we're going to do a, a prompt draw, you know, pull the prompts. And then we will um, color in the, the color book that I showed y'all earlier. <clears throat> the Camilla book. So, yes, these are amazing. Look how beautiful they are, guys. I'm just saying. And some are on the, the deli, actual deli paper, and some are on like graph paper. She has all different kinds of papers. I like the deli papers because they're thin and you can use those are best for collage. All of them work though. Because the graph paper is not that thick. Is that two there? Is that just back in front? <clears throat> not sticking. They didn't stick. They're good. I didn't tear another one. <laughs> so I just love them. This one's on a magazine page. So these are amazing, Devin. Thank you so much. We're going to do a giveaway here in just a minute. Let me show my Linda happy mail. Uh, let me put my Devin so I make sure to write that on. I want to make sure and write Devin papers on the giveaway, whoever wins. And then this was from Linda and Tim. So Linda and Tim sent, let me move the address here. She sent, Dee Dee, we are sending a rug for your Barbie home and a cover and page from one of our favorite old books. There's also info about the nation's oldest picture book still in print. And it's about cats, <laughs> Linda and Tim. So she sent this little rug for Barbie, <laughs> a little Barbie rug, which I, I keep my Barbie room, my three, well, it's two sided and a floor. I keep it set up behind me here to use. I just redo the walls. I redo the cover, the furniture. I redo the settings and I haven't done one for a while. So if y'all want to see all my Barbie photography, then you can go look in my IG and it's uh, all my pictures are there. You have to scroll back every week or so. We have some, but I do the room settings and I change the room. So I keep the, I keep the foam core two sided walls and the floor. It's all taped together. You know, you've seen it. And um, so yeah, a Barbie rug. Thank you, Linda and Tim. <laughs> I know. So here's some of some papers and info. <clears throat> oh, here, this is the oldest American picture book still in print. It's obviously about cats. <laughs> it reminds me of a, a Fly, Fletcher, Fletcher, the guy that did Popeye, Fleischer. I'm not sure how you say it, Fleischer. It reminds me of a Fleischer cartoon. 
or Fletcher, however you say it, like the old Popeye, the old, 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 you know, cartoons. That's what that reminds me of. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Thank you so much, Linda and Tim. There's another picture there. So I love this kind of stuff. I love this kind of information. Uh-oh, they begin to quarrel. Hurting cats, people. Hurting cats. <laughs> and then look at this cover from an old Bible. <clears throat> it's like the it's like a cover from it from 1908. Love that. And it's like an oil cloth. It's very cool. So thank you, Linda and Tim, for that. And uh, I'll have to send Tim, let me make a note, send Tim a new uh some new stickers. Tim, new stickers. I have to write it all down. Because I do so much, I will not ever remember it. Okay, so let me stick that over here. Ten new stickers. Debbie E. gets Hummers. And uh, so we will do a giveaway. And we're going to do our prompts for our prompts. And then we will do some uh, coloring. Oh, i got one other thing to show. And Marsh is not here. And uh, Marsh asked me, he said, have you ever colored a comic book page cover? Or, And I said, well, I have only done the comic. And I can't, I got to say, I'll just start by saying I found the book. I could not find the pages that I colored from it. So I don't know if I stuck them somewhere, but I wanted to show in case, Marsh, if you're lurking or you watch later. Um, I found the classic comic coloring book. And I've colored pages and cut them out, but I don't know where they are. So, but these are, um, so I got this at a bargain price for $7.98 from Barnes & Noble because I recognize their sticker. So anyway, these are, um, these are comic book covers that are vintage and they made a color book out of them. Brenda Starr, whoever, I remember reading Brenda Starr in the newspaper. Anybody else? Raise your hand if you remember Brenda Starr. Dee Dee, um, did you get the Barbie setting link? Uh, Barbie setting link uh, on IG. I don't know, Shaz, if I did. Y'all don't know how many messages and things I get sent to me. I try to get to them all, but obviously I do not. Okay, so let's see. Let me go over to messages. Oh, wait, let's find it here. Home messages, Shaz. Shaz, I see nothing from you in my messages. So, Shaz, I do not see a Barbie setting in IG at all. Yeah, I don't see it. So, so uh, yeah, I'm going to bring the star. <laughs> but um, I roll. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. I, I roll. Did you roll? Did you see my IG post with the new Barbie and Ken from the Barbie movie? <laughs> Okay, Arlene, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. So these are all different covers. So I won't go through the whole book, but I got it for like I saw, you know, you saw for seven and change at Barnes and Noble. This it's for a, year, a few years ago. I mean, I got it a few years ago. I'll, I'll see what the uh, copyright date is. I'm sure you can probably still get it or something like this on Amazon, but there's tons of them. I don't even know how many there are in here, but there's a lot. Let's see. This came out in 2015, and it's a Michael Amara book. I promoted them uh, um, some years ago, Michael Amara books in UK. So, yeah. So, yeah, tons, tons. So I'll have to color another one of these because I can't, I mean, they're around here somewhere. Um, that I colored out of this book. So yeah, classic comic. And I think there's, there's uh, another uh, color, classic comic one. Monsters, I think. I think there's a classic comic monster color book, I think. All right, so there's those. All right. So let's go ahead and pull prompts and then we'll do a giveaway. And then I'm going to color in the pop manga best of. This is the best of. So as you all know, she has a dragon, a mermaid, a pop manga. She has the cute and creepy, which I color in every October. 
And I think there's another one. And then somebody said that there's another one coming in October. So, but this is a compilation of her different books. Oh, I got the hiccups now. I guess it's up in my water. <laughs> Hello, Color with Cami, Shelly, anybody else I might have missed coming in? Kathleen. Okay, so we're going to pull. So Linda, Terry, and Carol, are y'all still here? Because if you if you want me to, I, I mean, I'm still going to pull them, but just to let y'all know, I'm getting ready to pull. So if you're lurking, Linda, Terry, and uh, uh, Canadian Carol. So, yeah. And mix and get a little stack. I try to mix them well. There's a couple hundred in here, so I'm going to grab a little handful here. All right, Dee, Dee can you send me a set? Can I send them to you? No, I'll tell you to them right now, though. Here, I'm going to write your name on, Jen. Kitty Jen, hang on. I'm going to pull three for you. I don't send them out. You have to you just have to be here and let me tell you what they are. Okay, so here we go. Um, Linda, Linda, here's yours. Because Linda was from last Wednesday. I missed seeing her request for some. So Linda, here you go. You and Tim. Fear. And anybody that wants different ones can always request them. Poppy. Well, this looks like it might be some Wizard of Oz thing going on. And Gardner. Okay, so Linda, there's Fear, Poppy, and Gardner. Okay, well, I won't enable you. <laughs> I won't enable you, uh, CK. <laughs> All right, next is Terry, Terry Brett, Terry B. Terry, here's your three. Nutcracker. Border. And Brush. Okay, so there's Terry. Carol, here we go. Carol, Canadian Carol, astronaut. I'm pulling off the top. Come on. Road and ferret. And any of y'all that like these, you can use them too. Just when you, if you post them, just tell me the three words you used. So you're welcome. Just tell me the three words you used when you post them. All right. So there we go. And uh, Kitty Jen, here you go. Kitty Jen. A blank. That means you get to pick. I have a few blanks in here. So you get to pick anything you want. Whistle and paint. There you go. So there's your three, Kitty Jen. Uh, <laughs> are you calling Devin out again, uh, Janet? Bossy. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my gosh. So you already got, uh, you pre-ordered her new book that comes out in October. I did pre-order. I'll tell you, I did pre-order book and I will probably end up now. Y'all know I can't do giveaways. I can't do giveaways books international. So I give other things away international. But I pre-ordered this like a month ago and maybe, yeah, something like that. I think it's supposed to come out in August, the middle of August. Let me see if I can get it to come up. Um, yeah, it, my phone in this room without, I may have to adjust the Wi-Fi. It says it's still loading on Amazon. Oh my gosh. All right, let me try to do the, change my Wi-Fi settings and try to get it to come up. I'm going to try. Hang on. It still wants to stick me on 2G in this room. I don't know if I can bring it up or not. But I do have a um, order coming in. Let's see. Here it is. And for those of y'all that do... Um, the oh what do they call it um messy messy journal and i there's two or three different people that do the messy journaling it's called messy journaling and uh wanderlust 
And so this is, I think this is the actual creator of Wanderlust. She does classes. I don't take the classes. I've never taken one of her classes, but I see her on, um, I see her on YouTube. And so her new book is ca called Creative Wanderlust. And it's supposed to be here. Well, I'll have to check. Anyway, I've already pre, I, I pre-ordered it. So it should be here in a couple weeks, I think. So I don't know. I heard some her do a YouTube channel saying something about them back ordered or something. You want the kind of look? So anyway, let me just scrub through here and I'll show you some of the well, it's not gonna you'll have to go over to Amazon. But anyway, it's uh creative wonder, creative wonder lust. And it's by Case Casia C A S I A Avery. She's she's European. I don't remember what what country she's from, but this is her new book, and some of y'all probably know about her or of her or whatever. So this is a kind of book that I usually will get and read and then give away because I don't like it just sitting on my shelf after I've read it. I know I probably won't go back to it, so I give those kind of books away a lot. Um. So, oh, okay, Devin, I had not seen that either. If it's on Amazon, I'm not sure. So anyway, that's supposed to be here between August 11th and the 15th. Because, you know, I think it's coming from Europe. So I don't know, but I'll let y'all know. Of course, I'll let y'all know as soon as I see it or get it. Okay, so let's move on now to, um, let's move on to the giveaway. So I'm not going to put these back in the bag till the end of the day. So if anybody still wants a prompt, let me know. The bag will be right here. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and do a giveaway with Devin Papers. All right. So here's how it's going to work. Let me bring up random.org. Um, let me get some envelopes. <laughs> So how we'll do this is I will give away um, two to each person, not to put on a sticker or something, you know. Um, let's see. Show that. I got all my little notes here. Okay, show that. I can throw that notes away. Um, as I go, I have, I have all kinds of post-it notes sitting here. I write notes. I've had notes. And then throughout the morning, if I've covered what I wrote on the notes and I just throw the papers away. All right. So here we go. I'm going to bring up random.org. We will do uh, international first today. Okay. So how it works, if y'all do not know how to, uh, <laughs> well, Cammie, you can get the prompts. And if you don't do them, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to remember or care if you don't do them. You should at least pull the prompts, Cammie, to try them on your own. You don't ever have to show them. You know, it's more for you to try to do something than it is for me to see them or for all of us to see them. It's for you to get inspiration from. So anybody that wants a prompt, you don't if you don't do it and post it, that's OK. But try it. Try to do something with it, even if it's a, a doodle and a sketch and stick figures, even if you just do stick figures with the to get the idea down on paper, even if you don't do something with it, you got the idea. OK. All right, so should you enter? Yes, you should enter. Oh, for your own papers. Well, Devin, if you want, I would send you a sticker or something separate. So you can you can enter, Devin. <laughs> I'm going to send you something. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do international first. International only. You're, when I when I type in go, listen to the rules, make sure you have live chat selected at the top of the window. After the fact, if it looks like, oh, I won, why didn't I? Well, then refresh because sometimes it looks like you've won and you refresh your chat. You'll see that you're way down at the bottom of the list. So that happens a lot. So um, I trust me and my mods will, and you know, other people can throw in what they see too, but you know, me and the mods. Um, so you're going to put in a number between 1 and 100. This is international only first, and we'll do U.S. separate. That gives more people chances to, you know, get them. And um, you're going to put in it one number only. 
one number only. Do not change your number. Don't take your number out and put in another one. I'm on StreamYard. I do not see that. I don't see it removed and rec so just one number. First two people closest, first two people closest without going over, without going over, I'm going to send you two of Devin's papers, okay? And I'll put your name on an envelope. So this is international only. Wait till I type in go. <laughs> um, you're so sweet. Well, I do. I've been sending you some stickers and stuff, Devin. I see you, you get them. You, you uh, message me. Uh, you'll send out the prompt, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, Bobini. <laughs> so, uh, real seriously, if anybody wants some prompts just to try it to practice, let me know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, when I type in go, first two people closest, I'll bring up random.org. First two people closest without going over. I'm going to send you a couple of Devin's papers and probably a sticker. <laughs> uh, Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. First two people got international only, international only at first. Okay. International only. And, you know, then we'll uh, do U.S. <laughs> and then I'll have to take a break. All that water. Okay. So I'm not going to show you what you get. I'm, I'll let it be a surprise. But you'll get uh, two Devon papers. I'm going to write down there two Devon papers and I'll put sticker plus sticker. So that'll be our giveaway this week. Because I do like to do a giveaway every week of something, you know, try to anyway. We don't always make it. And uh, while we're waiting, I also want to remind y'all I do post every Monday and I did as well this morning in the community tab pictures of it you know i try to put three books a week up on the community tab and i did find out now well i don't know when they changed it or how they changed it but you can now go to the community tab on the iphone and the ipad you didn't used to be able to do that but now you can so all right i'm going to count down don't dilly dally dawdle or lollygag <laughs> 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last call. Get in a number. International. Last call. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let me go over here to random.org. Our little window here. First two people closest to eleven, and if everybody went over, we'll pull. We'll pick. We'll pick another. Not you won't have to pick another number. I'll pick another number. First two people closest to eleven without going over, and it looks like only Jane was Jane the only person that was under eleven. So, Jane, you will get a couple painty papers. She had 11. Jane had 11. And I think that was the only person. I'll have to pick an another number. Everybody else went over. Okay. Did everybody else go over? I'm looking, looking. Hi, Mark. All right. So, Jane. All right. So, I'm going to pick another number. Don't y'all put in any more numbers. I I'll just pick another number. Here we go. Eight. Well, everybody's over eight. So let's pick another number. 16. Was that any higher? Did that make it? Did that make the cut? Do I have to pick another? I think, I don't think that, I think everybody's over 16 as well. All right, here we go. We're going to pick another one. 83. Okay, 83. So who's closest to 83 without going over? Kelly S. has 78. I think it's Kelly S. So Kelly S. I know it's in Australia, but Kelly, you'll have to send me your um, you can send me your address. Okay, here's my email. I don't share your addresses with anybody, and I don't put you on an email list. Just FYI. Okay, so Kelly S. It looks like you got um, you got it. So there we go. <laughs> well, yeah, you should, Jane. <laughs> All right. So Kelly S., send me your address. I have Jane's. 
All right, so there you go. Y'all are going to get some uh, Devon papers and a sticker. So I'm going to put that right there. All right, now we're going to do, that one's all used up. So now we're going to do USA only. Wait till I type in go. When I type in go, put in a number between 1 and 100. First two people closest. First two people closest will get some of uh, Devin uh, Rex's uh, deli papers and a sticker. Okay, wait till I type in go. I'm getting organized here. USA only now. USA only. There we go. Thank you, Tina. All right, so get your numbers in. USA only. <clears throat> And then we're going to work in the Pop Manga um, Best of Pop Manga Color Book. All right. So let me pick this up here. Trying to keep it a little organized. I still got a stack. If anybody wants prompts, too, I got them sitting here. All right. I'm going to count down. Get your numbers in. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last call. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pick a new number now. That was from the international. Here we go. First two people closest to 88. Two people closest to 88. I see Paula Loves Art got it right on the nose. Let's go back and see if anybody got it before her. 88. All right, so it looks like Paula Loves Art gets one. She had 88 right on the nose. Paula, did you send me your address recently? I don't remember, so it might behoove you to send it to me again. I think so, but I'm not positive. So send me your address again, Paula, just to make sure, if you don't mind. Um, after a couple, I try to remember, but you know, I can't, I don't look at y'all. After I send stuff out, I don't know, remember who sent me their addresses. All right, so who else? Paula and who else was closest to 88 without going over? I'm scrolling, looking for some 70s. Oh, Leona had 79. Leona had 79 first. Some other people had uh, 79 too. So it looks like uh, Leona maybe. Is it Leona? Had 79. Okay, so Leona. I have your address, Leona Jean. Okay, so Leona. All right, so Leona and Paula loves art. Paula, you need to send me yours. And Kelly in Australia, you need to send me yours. Okay? All right, so there's our giveaway. I'll get these out tomorrow. Because I can just put these in my mailbox. Now I don't have to go to the post office to mail these. Okay, so there we go. And Debbie, some Hummers, Tim. I'm going to send him some stickers. So I got all my little notes. You're welcome. And thank you, Devin. Thank you for sending. Um, thank you for sending some uh, awesome papers and to let us share. I want to take a quick break, guys. And then we will... Find something, and I don't even know what medium I'm going to use yet, so we'll see. All right, give me just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and see about what we're going to color. Um, I popped some money. Up. Oh, you didn't have to do that, Kelly, but I appreciate that. Thank you. You did not have to do that, but I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
um you know well it is but that's okay y'all are worth it and y'all know all y'all that uh, super chat and um and support the channel does pay for my stream yard every month and for postage for giveaways because y'all know even if y'all didn't i'd still send y'all stuff because i love doing giveaways i just do hi candy good morning um and anybody else i missed all right, so let's see what we want to color today. I think we'll zoom in one. And I don't even know what we're going to use yet. What shall we use? I think I want to color. Do I want the squid or do I want the sea, um, seal? This one's a little better because it's like y'all can see it better. Do you know what I mean? I think we'll go with the, I think we'll go with the squid. Let me get a clip. Where's my clips? I had one just sitting here. Where'd it go? What I do with my clip? Here it is. Uh, try to make the spine flat here. There we go. All right, so we're going to do this one, I think. I like this one too, but I think this one shows up better. I did a flip of this book earlier, if y'all missed it. Um, so... It is a compilation of her other books. I didn't pull my books that I have. I've got, I think I've got all of her books, but I didn't pull them today to show y'all because I had so many other things to show you, the book, new books to show y'all. So I didn't pull the old ones. Um, let's see. Hi, Fernando. Fernando, I sent you out happy mail last week. <clears throat> Who else am I missing? I only, oh, wait. <laughs> We can't say hi to Elisa without going. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Elisa's the one that made these. I love these hands. I just love them. I'm wearing a striped shirt today. <laughs> I love my hands, Elisa. And good morning, by the way. Oh, good. All right, Elise, you got your stickers? Okay, Dee Dee. Thanks always for starting our morning. Oh, I do try to do that. I really do. I like y'all to have a good start to Mondays. Well, Wednesdays too. Wednesdays hump day. But I do like y'all to have a good start to the day. Some inspiration, some ideas, some, you know, smiles, some laughs. That's why I do my Barbie photography. Um, so, yeah. All right. So let's see what we want to do here. I think we're going to start with the wash. We'll, we'll start with some uh, acrylic paint. I think we'll do acrylic paint and uh, we'll do acrylic paint and color pencil. Pencils. So what color do I want my squid? Do I want him green? Do I want him blue? Do I want him pink? Because um, I'm thinking all these little hearts are actually his little... What? Let me see. I'm going to look that up. Squid body parts hang on let's look that up squid body so i know what that's called because y'all know i like the i like that information yes pencils i love seeing pencils okay here we go all right so it is called well it just says a sucker okay here we go there's the arms the eye it's just called a sucker there's all the different parts of the squid. So, or is that the fin? Is that the fin at the back of them? Or is, I, I'm thinking that that's those arms, right? That's the end of his arms right there. So, let's see if we got anything else that has more detail or anything. Mm, no? They don't just, I guess just because they're attached to the sucker arms... <laughs> uh, I'm sure it does, uh, Bo, uh, Bobini. I never, I don't ever really care about my searches. I don't search anything that I shouldn't be searching. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Let's try this one. Oh, that one won't focus in. Let's see. Let me just hit. Uh... <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, I think that's all there, just the suckers. 
at the end of the arms, you know, at the end of the arms. So we're going to roll with it. Okay, so now I just got to decide what color I want him. Do I want him blue? This, I'm gonna cho my choices are going to be blue, green, pink. Those are going to be my colors. But I could do a combo. I could do a combo of like a teal and a green. Let's see. Maybe this green. Maybe these two colors. What do y'all think? Those two colors look pretty good. Check the vintage scuba helmet on the right. Oh, yeah. I did a flip of this book, Rebecca, if you missed it. Yeah. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do, this helps make, if you want to do a kind of a quick page, I say quick. Always make sure you shake up your acrylic paints. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let's get this one. So we'll, and it doesn't really matter. I just pile them on each side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> now the thing about doing water on your pages, the main thing is you have to be aware of how much water you use. It's not the paint that ever goes through on these thicker papers like markers do. It's the water that pills your paper. But So I'm going to be careful, but I'm going to... Do I think I, can I be careful or do, I should put a piece of paper behind there, wax paper. Let me just put a piece of cardstock here. <clears throat> All right, there we go. All right, so yes, I'm going to do the blue and green together. All right, so I'm going to put some water. Let me get a brush here. Let me wet my brush here in the water because you really want to have your brushes wet before you dip into acrylic. So I'm just going to kind of use, I'm going to go with some, uh, oh, look what I just did. Jeez. Let's be careful and then splash. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to just, and if you want something darker, you just have to let this dry, hit it with the heat gun and, um, uh, add another coat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just get, so I'm trying not to get too much water. I'm trying to keep the water to a minimum, but I want to get all this background started. I'm not looking at chat for a minute. I'm going to get some more green. I'm going to need probably a little bit more water. So I just want it to look kind of watery. Some more blue. Then I'll dry it and then add some more wherever I feel like I need it. And we'll see where it goes. Okay, now let me get up here in this little corner with my clip. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and dry this. I'll add a little bit more. Judy just found it. The ends are called clubs on a squid. Oh, clubs. Okay, there we go. All right, let me plug in my heat gun here. Heat gun. <laughs> I never give warnings. And if it buckles a little, by the time you do the other side, it does flatten out. But I find that by the time I have pincers, it flattens out pretty well anyway. 
And you can also try the back, helps flatten it too. But you want to make sure it's 100% dry before you start penciling or other materials because otherwise you'll just be digging into your digging into your paper. Okay, it's still cold to the touch, so all right, so let's see. I want to add a little bit more. So let's add a little bit more. Well, I got enough water for that. They're cold. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I want to add another coat, but I want to keep it light enough to be able to see the drawing, right? So, but I want it, I want it darker. But if you try to get too much water, you're gonna you're gonna peel it, pill, P-I-L, you know, L pill. You're gonna peel your paper. So you want to make sure and do it in layers. Do you have any questions or anything or what are y'all working on today or starting your day off with some creativity i still haven't seen what janet's going to do today has she decided janet have you decided what you're going to do today let me look up because she's probably answering me oh thank you calling with cammy thank you so much for supporting the channel and let me know, do you, do you know what sticker you might like? Or I can show you a flip of the sticker book to uh, send you a sticker for supporting the channel. <clears throat> oh, a little bit of fresh blue there. There we go. All right, I think that's good. Cause that's already getting a little let me get a baby wipe that's already getting a little muddy right there gotta be careful take some of this off right here so it's kind of muddy there we go that's better do you know what sticker you'd like uh janice says she might do watercolor which is always awesome so cammy let me know write you down <clears throat> Color with Cammy and Cammy. Here's my address. I mean, my email, so you can send me your, you can send me your address, so I can send you a thank you sticker. Let me put it in. And my my email is always in my about page. So if you don't catch it here, let's see if she answers. Hi, Ambient Landscapes. Um, this is one of the first processes I learned from Dee Dee and the Paw. Oh, well, thanks for being a that's been a while. Um, yeah, oh, well, that's that's no, you can just send me just send me your address and I will send you out a sticker. Do you want to look at the stickers real quick? I'll sh I haven't shown them today. I'll let that sit for just a minute while I just flip through my stickers here. So you can pick a sticker. Anybody that supports a channel, I will send you a sticker. This is a small lemur. I send out the bigger one. But anyway, there's my pea sloth lemur, which I send out this bigger one that's back here. There's the axolotl in space, and there's the koi. I want to sit this down, but I can't sit it on this. Let me move this over. Because I don't want to sit it on that. There we go. So then we have the bee. We have the uh, red moon lunar eclipse. These are all stickers. There's the big lemur. The lemur, the beatnik, the pink cat, panda, eagle, raccoon, 
snake. These are all from uh, years, a few different years of my Inktober's. There's the um, snake, Godzilla, Cyclops, dinosaur, um, biker pub, my rooster, emu, sand dollar, owl, invisible man, <laughs> uh, dragon eye. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Skelly, Scarecrow, Bat, Nosferatu, Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera. I want to write the things here so I don't have to say them every time. They'll just be here, but I haven't done that yet. Zira from uh, uh, Planet of the Apes, Edgar Allan Poe, Armadillo, this one here. This one's too small, so I made a bigger one. A Cactus. This is a thank you, that I, the vet one. That I, this, these are what I send to Julie. And then this is, I need to do another one of these because this is not cut correctly and I want to cut off that. But that's the uh, hump day camel looking toward Friday. Uh, Space otter sea. The Siamese cat, which I have two sizes in here. I like this one because it has more of the background. There's Oliver as a cow, cow cat. <laughs> This is one of my flowers from my garden. When pigs fly, my newest one is my um, clownfish and then the two hummingbirds. So did you see something you like there? Um, uh, Cammie, what would you like? I'll send it to you. And you like the koi? Okay, koi. Okay, koi fish it is. Koi in space. Okay, I wrote that down. Just send me your address and I'll send that out to you. Thanks for being here and thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Christopher. Christopher, you missed a lot today. You'll have to scrub through the chat later or scrub through the video later. And I also tell Lori that I showed her, I showed her a book recommendation today as well. I showed a bunch of books today. It was book day. Book haul. We're just now getting to a project. <laughs> okay. Also showed a bunch of uh, Devin Rex's uh, deli uh, plated papers. Christopher's just got into jelly plating. So, yeah, I got a bunch of those, too. All right, let me get some of the paint and marker off here. Okay. Okay, well, that's always a good thing. <laughs> Cleaning up, de-stashing, cleaning. Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn this over as long as that's dry. So we have a clean piece behind there. All right, so now let me put my, let me move this out of the way, the paint, the water. Let's move all this out of the way and clean my brush. Clean the brush because I think we're done painting. So now we got to get out the pencils. <clears throat> Working on a rabbit to draw. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no, no. Let's move that paint back down under here so I'm not spilling it. All right. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Tina. I use my jelly plant as a base for my story pages. Yes. If y'all have not watched Christopher, Christopher streams every Monday through Friday. You need to go check him out um, and see his uh, one-page stories and follow him on IG. And thank you, Tina. There's Tina put a link to his IG. I did a three-pound page on a jelly plate surface on Friday. I think uh, on Thursday. I think I liked it. I think I did that. I think I commented. I think I commented. <laughs> Let's see if my IG will come up. It's, it gives me fits in this room for whatever reason. Let's see. <clears throat> Y'all have to go because there it's a whole story on Christopher's um, 
Christopher's uh, pages. He, look, it's just spinning, 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 spinning. So there's Christopher's name on IG. <laughs> It won't come up right. Oh, there it goes. All right. No, nope, instead, no, I didn't want to start a chat. I didn't want to, just wanted to go to his page. Let's try to get there. It's it's slow loading. For whatever reason, IG in this room does not like Wi-Fi. All right. So let's see. He did, I'm pending. Do I see this one? Yeah, I saw this one. Impen impending. I was going to say, I'm pending. So y'all go over and read Christopher's comics. They're um, they're awesome. They're funny. They're clever. Some are snarky. Some are um, they're but they're all cool. So there's Christopher's uh, IG. So go over there and look at his last one. <laughs> Pin seals. Yes, I love that's that's what this one needs to be over here. Look, the one I was gonna do was the seal. We'll have to do pin seals. Look. Pin seals. We need to put pin, se pin seals in all those little shells. <laughs> oh, good one, Gammy. All right, so here we go. I want to start coloring this in. So let's go ahead and kind of, uh, maybe I can clamp it down some. Just to keep it a little flat till I get up to that area. Well, till I get up to that spot. All right, so let's see what we need. We need to move this so it's not put. Look how much of a shadow that puts. All right, so let's see. Let's get some different colors. We're going to get some blue, some teal, some more blue. I don't want dark blue. I, want... <clears throat> I think these might be the same. Let's see. We're going to have an ASMR moment. White aqua. Is that? Yeah, they're both white aqua. Might need a dark, dark blue, like an indigo. I put um, pieces of uh, tape on my indigo blue because um, they look like black. And if you've ever accidentally used blue when you want black or vice versa, then you, you learn to do that. All right, so that might be enough to start with. A couple of long greens or a couple of greens here and a dark green. Let's see, do I want dark, dark green? Those will probably do. We're going to roll with that, plus black and white. All right, this will give us a start. I don't know why my cat's on, why Malibu's not in here today. She usually is in here, you know? All right, so let's sharpen. Let's see what ones are the white poly. That's probably okay. Let's just sharpen the ones we need to. Everybody's asking, how's Corbin? Christopher has a cat cam. And sometimes it shows Corbin, his cat, the studio cat. Okay, those are good. That's good. That's I think those are okay for now. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. So we got this squid. We got this squid and his little hands <laughs> or the end of his tentacles um, have these little pads on them and I think that's what these are supposed to be is like the flat of like a footprint so to speak I think that's supposed to be a footprint now I'm not going to make y'all watch me color all those I'll color a few <laughs> so I really want to start on the, the girl um, let's see oh I will need some skin tones when I do a face aren't I all right, let's see here. Let's do a couple. And maybe some mint green hair. Okay. It was, I almost, I almost wanted to color in this today. The classic comic coloring book but i said well no this is my new book so we'll color in the new book <laughs> let's see i don't think i ever been called clever <laughs> oh i don't know i bet Lori calls you clever every now and then <laughs> maybe not every day but <laughs> 
All right, so I'm just going to start by just doing her face here, and I'll probably have let her have. Uh, do I want her to have lime green eyes? I think the last girl we had lime green, so maybe we'll do teal eyes. We might do do teal eyes on her. So I'm just going to put a base coat here. Now, you know, I'd love to use alcohol markers on these pages, but they're all her books are uh, double sided, so you know you'd have to be willing to give up the back page if you did alcohol markers, or I know some people go to just make a copy, but I, I just, I don't know. I don't like using copies for one, the, um, the ink, you know, can be problematic on a printer. So if you add alcohol markers or water-based anything, you know, it can be problematic to do that. So, all right. So I'm just going to base her in here. <clears throat> This part of her face is going to probably take the longest of anything. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Anyone remember? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, Artistic Biker. Yes. He's still around. He's. I follow him on Facebook. and Well, I follow him on Facebook and IG, I think. He was actually the first person I ever saw stream. Um, Artistic Biker and uh, I Carry Love were the first two people that I saw stream back on Ustream 13 years ago. Well, it would have probably been closer to 14 years ago that I saw them. And uh, that's what got me streaming was Artistic Biker and I Carry Love were the first two. And Julie Topaz was there at the beginning too. So, yeah, let's see here. You still post... Uh, he still posts drawings every now and then. I think, let me go over to uh, Facebook. Okay. He moved from Oklahoma to Houston. So maybe that's why um, you, you, you don't, maybe don't know that he's around. I don't know. Well, now, of course, I want to find him, and I'm not going to be able to. <clears throat> but, yeah, he is around. Yeah, he hasn't been around as much since he moved to Texas, but he's still around. I follow him on uh, Instagram and uh, uh, Facebook. And the, and the uh, art mom, his wife, the art mom. All right, so let's go ahead. Do a little shading under here, under the bangs. But yeah, Janice Wright, he's not, he's, he doesn't stream. I don't think he streams anymore. You found him? Okay, 3G. I don't think he streams anymore. I know he makes a video every now and then, but I, he's, I don't think he streams anymore. So maybe I should zoom in one here and probably adjust the lighting again. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> so we'll color for a while. If you have any questions, now's a good time to ask them. Ask, put it in caps, though, so I see it. But because this is, you know, more chill time now. I'm not trying to get through um, 10 books or 20 books or however many books. <laughs> so the trick to coloring with pencils is light layers. <clears throat> light layers. Because once the wax builds up, you, you can hard put pressure to get color on top, but there's no more blending after the uh, wax build up. So you do have to take your time. But having it all painted like this with a, uh, a wash of acrylic paint 
gives you a base that you don't have to color every little thing. You can do, um, you know, shading and stuff on top of this without having to color it flat. Am I still, let me see, let me do a test. I haven't seen my chat. Oh, there it goes. There, I'm Ann makes it something. That's why we creators love cats. Yeah, okay, I'll talk about cats. Yeah, I don't know where mine is today. She's usually up here. I got to say that, oh my gosh, this was so funny. Let me show you all this real quick. I took a picture of it because it was like, so after I did my Barbie um, photography this weekend, um, now IG's probably going to, oh, Okay, mine will come up. Yeah. Okay, so after I did this Barbie photography this weekend, you know, my little Barbie comic movie. What movie? Those are actually the new Barbie and Ken from the movie that they created. They made those, <coughs> they made these two dolls uh, for the movie. And uh, so there they are there. That's the new Barbie and Ken, which I'd already, before the movie came out, I'd already done this one. I'd already bought the new Barbie and did this one. I love summer walks. Oops. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so after I did this, and Hubster helped me carry everything out. He, he goes, you want me to get you a bucket of water? He got me the water for the pool and everything. And um, so after it was done, everything was wet, right? Everything was wet. So I threw down a towel. And uh, I threw down a towel. Let me go to my photos. And I covered everything up with a towel so that everything would dry. Let's see here. So everything would dry. And I put it over in my Barbie, Barbie section of the house. <laughs> and so I threw all these, I threw the towel over the top of all the dolls and the pool and the lawn furniture. Literally two minutes later, this is what happened. <laughs> the cats thought I threw that down just for them, I guess. But all my Barbie is, all the Barbie stuff that's wet is wrapped up in this towel. Well, they immediately just went over and start either protecting, they're either protecting Barbie or they just wanted to sit. <laughs> I don't think so, Christopher. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> no, I don't use colorless blender pencils. I don't use uh, I don't use blenders of any kind, uh, Leona. I just use pencils, just pencils. I know, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, I just I just blend with pencil. Well, when I'm using pencil, so I'm, you know I use markers. I use pan pastels. But I don't use any, uh, I don't use a blender pencil or the liquid, you know, like in the markers, the alcohol markers, I don't use the alcohol blender. To me, the alcohol marker blenders are really just, they remove, they don't really blend, they remove, they're like just alcohol and they just pick up, they don't really blend. So I found anyway. All right, so I'm get a little bit more shading here. Need a little bit of lightness on our little nose there. They're trying to help. Yeah, I know. Oh, I don't think I'll go with the point. So I think I'll do her hair. Do I want her hair to be green and her eyes to be teal or vice versa? I think I'll do her hair green and her eyes teal. Let's do that. So we'll start with the light green on the hair. So it's all since been picked up. Uh, all the Barbie stuff, I picked it up, but I fold. Well, I didn't really fold. Fold like I, I kind of scrunched up and left the towel there for a day or two, because I think I think they think I put it there for them. So I didn't want to snatch it away from them. So I left the towel there for them to sit on for a couple of days, and they'll get bored with it and then they'll pick it up and throw it in the laundry. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Gina. <laughs> All right, so now let's go with um, let's go with the teal eyes. And remember, the pupils, eyelashes, anything that you want black in a color book page, like the inside of her mouth there. Um, I think I'm going to do her tongue teal, too. Why not? Um, <laughs> anything that you want um, really black, you need to um, go over. And I use a Sharpie pen. Sharpie pens don't go through paper. But uh, it's not a Sharpie marker. It says Sharpie pen right on it. I use that for eyelashes, pupils. And then if I need a highlight, extra highlights, I use a Posca, white Posca. <clears throat> So, yeah, I try, Kristen, I try. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do some dark teal, like right up under the eyes there. Can y'all see? Do I need to zoom in again? Maybe I should zoom in some more. Let's zoom in some more. Now let's turn down the brightness just a little. Of course, it'll give me a nice tan, but uh, that's okay. That's truer to color. All right, so I'm going to give some shadow under the eyes and a little bit more. Well, let's do the black first. Let's do the black pupil, eyelashes, eyeliner. Can y'all see what a difference that makes? And I usually don't outline the outside of the eyes unless sometimes it's like manga characters, that kind of stuff. You know, this pop manga kind of stuff. Sometimes I'll add the extra black, but usually I don't outline the iris. But I'm going to do it today. I want it to stand out inside of her mouth, corners of her mouth. Maybe her little nostrils there. And let's see, let's do our eyebrows green. Let's, do it. let's start with the light. And then the dark green, which we'll have in our hair as well. All right, let's do a little more shadow on the eyes. Then I'll put her lashes on. Want this like they kind of have this mask look on some of these characters. I like that kind of mask look. So we're gonna do that like that. Eyelashes, final lashes on the top. And then highlight. In manga, if you look at them, they have they can have like ten different highlights. They have so many highlights in their eyes. They probably all have a meaning, but I don't know the meanings of them. I just like to add lots of highlights. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's go back to the hair here. That's not going to be dark enough. I need the dark green. Sharpen. But yeah, I hope y'all got some inspiration from all the books this morning. I love doing the book hauls. I love books. And don't forget to check the community tab every Monday. Christopher's been showing books from his library. Gary, when he goes comes back, to, he was doing three books as well when uh, 
on his Saturday afternoon streams, but he hasn't been streaming lately because he's working on the uh, next episode of his comic. Christopher's working on, he said, I think he said that his next one page book will be out by Christmas. Is that right, Christopher? Are you still here? Is your next one page going to be out by the holidays? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the face done so I can start working on this because this is what's going to, you know, you're not going to want to watch me color all those. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Julie Topaz. Really looking forward to the oh the hat. Okay, yeah, it's well. I think we decided it was a squid because of this. These these hands or whatever they are, the ends of the ends of the tentacles are these. So we decided that and see the shape of this. That's a, we decided it was a squid. But let's go ahead and do real quick. Let's go ahead and do this. Because I thought it was an octopus too at first. And I was promptly corrected by the chat. Which you will have happen. Your chat will correct you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So now let's do a little bit of highlights in the hair here. And remember, when you use a white Posca for highlights, as soon as it dries, you can go over this white and turn it like just into a vibrant whatever color you want. But you got to make sure it's dry before you go over it with pencil because you'll just scrape it off with the pencil. I'll probably have some little, little you know, stray hairs coming across the outside of the little circle there, but I got to wait till I color all the rest of it first, so. Let's just go ahead and put a few there. <clears throat> so as soon as that dries, I'll go over it with the lime green. Oh, thank you, Pixie. I try. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. Let me get my colors here. Let's get some blues, the green, my hand. And we'll start with kind of light, lightly. All right, so let's, you know, I mean, there'll be some shading, but it's going to, and again, because this is acrylic paint, it has a tooth to it. Can y'all hear the tooth? <laughs> so it's very easy to go over this by, look, look how far back I'm going to hold this pencil and I can still get color to go down. It's because of the tooth from the acrylic paint. So I'm just going to kind of start light because I'm not sh quite sure what, uh, what I want to color here. So I want uh, the centers. I'm going to have the centers probably be the couple shades of the darker teal. So I'm just going to do a couple of those. Or it could be both. It could be the blue and the green inside there. I'll take my time here, shade around it. And you don't have to color every little, you know, everything because you've got your uh, acrylic paint. So you can just kind of work around different areas. Let's get around his eye here and around that one little. Get those little centers. And the suckers, too. We'll get to that in a minute. So I'm just going to start with this darker color. <clears throat> and let's go to the medium green. And I think I'll have light green 
And these little things. These spotted areas on him. Thanks, Kat. Good to see you, by the way. So I'm just going to kind of base in all the little sucker pods, or whatever they're called. See, I can go, oh, look, the green, white will go over. White will go over all this acrylic. I've shown you all the test. Should I show the test again? I might have the test up under this, uh, my board here. I always like to show it because it's really hard to believe if you don't see it. When you uh, want to color, when you want to color things uh, dark and have white on top. Okay, so that's coming along. I'm going to start getting some of the. I'm imagining these are not flat on him. They're little, little, uh, little like welts or something. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing with the suckers. So you can see it's starting to take shape. I need a dark, let's see if I want this dark blue. So I'm going to have some darker areas, but I want it to be a teal color. So I'll put down the dark indigo and go over it with the teal. So it still stays in the, like in the teal family. Um, so real quick, let me go ahead and show you that. Let's see. Let me look and see if I have one under here first. It'd be easier. Well, I'm not seeing it. So let me just show you here. <clears throat> so I will show it with a black acrylic. Let me just get a got my baby wipe here. Let me get a little, little piece of little thing of black paint here okay so here's black paint like the acrylic paint like i'm using right black acrylic paint <clears throat> and a black pencil okay Pencil. <laughs> and this is acrylic paint. Let's dry it. Gotta dry it. So when you're coloring your color book pages and you have a lot of dark, dark areas, and I have, I'm not even halfway mid-tone yet. Uh, when you have a lot of darks and you want to do something light over pencil, okay, you want to do something dark or, or like, well, I use white as the example, okay? So here is, if you had colored something solid black with your um, Prismacolor pencil, I'm going to put all the hard pressure on here that I can. Watch. There is no, <laughs> there's no way you're going to make that black pencil go white. Okay, and always make sure when you do something with a, a, a light color or white on a dark, you make sure that this is your tip is cleaned off before you like move into a face or something. I have I have a place over here I clean my pen seals, or you can sharpen them. Uh, sharpening them will clean them too, but make sure. Okay, all right. So there is color pencil with white. Now look, I'm going to hold it way back here, so you can see how lightly I'm going to go over this. 
that's what you can do with acrylic paint. Plus, you can do all kinds of, you know, mist and fog and clouds. You can do all kinds of cool effects on top of the acrylic paint. And I could get this to go almost back to white. So there's the difference between coloring with dark pencil and coloring all with on top of acrylic paint. Okay, so this is all acrylic paint. A wash. This is not solid, but, you know, at the same time, I mean, look, I can go in here and get that perfectly white. See? That's how you can, you know, how much you can, uh, you can change it. Say, okay, but let's get back to the plan. Let's get back to the plan, man. <laughs> so that's a little tip there. Bye, bye, Kitty Jen. Anybody else coming and going? Thanks everybody for being here. All right, so now I'm going to go back with my indigo, and I want to just I want to get a little area get a little area going of where I, so I can kind of see where I'm going. Like on this, I'm going to want some dark on all the insides and some dark green. So I'm going to want a little of both. And then I'll blend it out with the teal and the green. So the insides are kind of, you know, a little bit of all the colors there. So I'll have to do that in all in the insides of all these. Might even go a, even a little darker on the outside there. Because I want it to, I love high contrast. That's one of my go-to things. I love high contrast. Oh, and speaking of high contrast and um Christopher, you missed. I showed an Aubrey Beardsley book that somebody sent me in the happy mail earlier. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's close up this Sharpie pen. All right, let's get back to him. All right. So I'm just kind of mapping out what I'm going to do. And then I'll... Go back for the whole thing. <clears throat> I know, I love his. That's what I was saying earlier. That's the first uh, black and white art that really got me. I was either in junior high or early high school when I first saw his work. So what's everybody else working on this week or today? Get a little of this in there, edges.
<clears throat> I'm working on Anastasia Ellie Coldrola page. Okay, that's a. I like her stuff. I have a. I have her original book, the big square one that was like fourteen by fourteen. Oh my gosh, the shipping. Donkerous. I think it was the dragon one, maybe. I think the dragon one was the first one. Now the light teal, kind of blend those together, and then I'm going to go in there with some green. And you can color as much or as little as you want of the, your base. <clears throat> Hello there, Oliver. Oliver's going right to the window. So there you go. You can kind of see how we're headed. I think Janet's going to do watercolor today. Last I saw, unless she changed her mind since I last looked at chat, back at chat. <clears throat> so you can kind of see, you just build it up. Thank you, Devin. Now remember, we put white in her hair there. So now I'm going to take my lime green and go over those white uh, Posca marks and you'll see that it retains its brightness but it knocks it back from white to the lime green. You have to make sure it's dry though otherwise you'll just scrape off the Posca. <clears throat> And I think it needs a little darker. Do I have a darker one out here? No, I'll just go. I'll just go with the dark blue. I'm gonna put a little dark blue in the hair there. Little darker shadows. Sharpen. Well, good, Pixie. I hope so. I probably have 500 videos on coloring. No no joke. <laughs> I, um, I probably have uh, 500 coloring videos. So look at my playlist, guys. If you like collage, I have collage playlist. I have a mixed media playlist. I have a color book playlist. I have drawing portraits and animals. And when we, you know, get out the scroll and draw... Um, you know, animals like, uh, where's my, here, you know, like this on the scroll paper. There's my big fish, like this. So this one, this fish right here that I made into a sticker was about two feet, well, maybe a foot, yeah, probably close, well, foot and a half, two feet big. And then I took a picture of it and turned it into a sticker. <clears throat> but, you know, I have a playlist for doing that kind of thing, animals. I'm just trying to get some nice little hairs in here.
<clears throat> make like fonts and get them done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, Christopher. You and Flo both on the thumbs up. I do it too with other people though. And, you know, and then like when I'll go to Janet's, I'm modding over at Janet's and then Flo will go thumbs up. I go, oh yeah, I guess I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> I forget myself. You know, I forget myself. So yeah, it happens. All right. So let me go back and let's sharpen this. Let's go ahead and try to get around all the tentacle sucker things, all these shapes here. So I don't lose them anyway. And then what I like to do on the suckers, I do this with um, octopus. I haven't. I don't know if I've ever colored a squid. I have to cover that up. I don't know if I've ever uh, colored a squid in a color book. I've drawn lots of squids. Well, I say lots. I've drawn a few. I've drawn a few squids. Um, but coloring them like any color you want, like this, you know. <laughs> but if you if you put a little Let's see here if I can do this. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I have, you have a dark center in the little suckers. <clears throat> I can make a little bit darker back in here. Got to get the, <coughs> got to get the darks in there though for the lights to show up. And then I haven't put enough color on these down here yet, but you'll get the idea from these. Here's a couple more. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of shading on these down here. Get a start anyway. So then what you do, if you put one little highlight, watch how this comes to life. Watch it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, I need this one to be green. These need to be green back here. One second. Need to blend that in on that edge. So you got all these suckers. Well, these aren't, but these are down here. But these are kind of like just the same kind of... Uh, same kind of shapes as the suckers and the kind of, I don't know what, what they are. But watch. Watch what happens when you do this. You'll notice it more on all the row of suckers when I get a whole row of them done. But you'll see. Look, that one little white dot. That one, yes, pop, pop, pop. Exactly, Tina. <laughs> and then if you have the real dark right on the other side of the white, you probably don't see it much, like, you know, in the in the on the camera. But if you have the the white dot and the dark, you could even do it if you wanted to with the black. Uh, like it's real tiny, you could do it with a pen. But you got that dark side and you got the light side, and it just makes it stand out. Especially when you start blending the back. Okay, so when I start blending the back sides of these. Some dark up in here. See what I mean? I know.
But having that wash of acrylic paint, it just makes everything so much easier to blend. And, you know, then you've got some colors already kind of laid and mapped out for you. And you just keep rolling with it. Some real dark, dark areas. Bye, Terry. Have fun with your next set of prompts. If anybody else wants any, let me know. I'm probably going to go here in a few minutes. Let's do one of these hands, if you will. my dark darks in there. still can't get over how fast it is well and I always say this when I'm you know doing something by myself I'm not going as fast I usually take a little longer I, just, I don't rush but I try to get as much done on stream <laughs> as I can because I don't know you know I try to say well I'll try to finish it today or tomorrow and post it on Instagram but I don't always get to do that so I like to try to have as much done as possible you know before um you know, in a stream. So get the base in here and then I can go back and blend. But I want a lot of light in there too. I'm going to have a lot of dark over here, but I want lots of light green in here as well. Sometimes it takes me half an hour just to so. <laughs> well, it can do that depending on what you have to do. If it, if you know, when I'm working on commissions, guys, I'm way, I'm much pickier. You know, I'm, I'm much pickier when I'm doing commissions. But um, when I'm doing something like this, it's like 
why should I be afraid to pick a color? It could be any color. You know, I, I remember I, I started, oh, do I want her to, I want this to be pink, blues, greens. And then once you decide, you just have to like commit to it. Do you know what I mean? Then you just have to commit to it and not be, um, not be a fearing. <laughs> then you just got to roll with it. <laughs> So don't be a fear in Tina. And if you mess it up, there's a couple things. One, you can probably fix it. You can probably paint over it. And two, if you mess it up and you don't tell anybody, no one's going to know. <laughs> no one's going to know. They don't know if you meant to do a certain thing. So don't be putting yourself down. Go, oh, my God. <laughs> You know, they're not going to know. So just go for, roll with it, Tina. And anybody, I'm not just picking on Tina. She just made the comment. <clears throat> yes decide commit act uh, well that's well in a way tina i mean i when i do a commission the colors are sort of picked for me but i still have to go through my pan pastels my pencils and pick out the colors do you know what i'm saying and some of them, depending on how much blending of colors, you know, uh, especially with the pan pastels, you can do so much layering. So, you know, you can, uh, you still have to pick. And I'm just, I am pickier when I pick commission colors. So I'm just trying to smooth this out here. So does anybody have any questions or anything before we go? Hope you all have enjoyed the show, enjoyed the stream and the books we showed earlier. <laughs> Y'all know me, I love my books. I'm back in darker back in here. <clears throat> I forgot to post today's page. One. Oh, bye. <laughs> Christopher forgot to post, post his post for the day. Oh my gosh. Let's get a little more green in there. <clears throat> this lime green and this tea and this light aqua what is it called light aqua <laughs> are really working well together today they're playing nice the lime green and the aqua light aqua Look how nice those are going together. Very happy with that. So, and these back here, I'm going to kind of do kind of the same type of thing. 
And this will take me a while. This will take some hours. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is going to take some hours to do these. But I'll do a couple just to kind of show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to do all of them will be exactly this. Well, I say exact. You know, they'll be pretty much the same. Okay. Each one of these. So what I'd start first is I'd go around all of them with at least the darkest here. So I know where it's going. So I'll do that with all of them. And I kind of feather some out here. I'll do two here. I'm take the dark aqua. When these on these pop manga pages that she does, these when they have these kind of things on them, this does usually take the longest. If y'all remember in my uh, the creepy, the creepy cool book one and. Um, some of the others this does take the longest to do the background if i want to do it nice which i usually do but i'm going to do them all like this i'm going to do the sharpen again the eyes have it <laughs> oh my gosh good foxy <laughs> and then what i'll do is i'll do the inside here Then I'm going to go ahead and do the light outside of each one. All right, I got to let that dry before I can touch that white because it'll just smear off if I try to do it. I think I'll put a little, I might do a highlight on the inside of these too, maybe. We'll see how that works. Then the light aqua. And a little bit of green. Okay, now where's my concealer? I'm going to try to just soften around the outside here. So the whole pattern, I think, will look like this. <clears throat> and again, this will take a while, so I'm going to want to soft, get a nice blend there. So there's a lot of them, right? So I think I'll have them look something like that. So if I do, well, I can't cover it up because, but if you can imagine that on the whole background. So I think that's where I'm going to head with it. <clears throat> all right guys well i think i'm gonna head out i hope you liked it give me a thumbs up or you know leave a comment we don't get a lot of comment comments because some of y'all are real good about it but you know we're all chatting here so <laughs> you know that's you know, okay i appreciate y'all being here and chatting so you can kind of see how the texture here is going to be i'm working my way down with lighter and lighter uh, layers, but you got you got to take it light. You have to you can't hard press these and then expect it to blend. You have to do it slow and build it up because once the wax takes over, once the wax takes over, you can't you can hard press your one final color on there, but there's really no more blending once you 
hard pressure, you know. So, all right, let's back out so we can see what it looks like kind of backed out. There we go. So there we go. That's what it looks like so far. I'm going to smooth it out a little. So yeah. So again, this is out of the new Best of Pop Manga, which is a whole bunch. I did a flip through of it earlier, if you want to see it again. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. So... I hope y'all enjoyed it. You're welcome, Julie Topaz, and thank you for being here. Hope everything's going well with you. Uh, Color with Candy needs some prompts, please. Okay, Color with Candy needs some prompts. Okay, prompts are coming up. I still have my stack here. Here we go. And anybody else? All right. Here we go. Color with Cami. Here you go. Here's three prompts. Again, y'all should try some prompts. You don't have to post them. You know, just practice. Wings. Architect. Or it could be architecture. Architect, an archi any kind of architect or architecture. And any food. Wings, architecture, or, an arc or however you want to interpret it. And any food. Okay, anybody else? You're welcome, Bo Beanie. Thanks, Shelly. Anybody else want three prompts just to practice with, to try? You don't have to post them, but just go try. Or take the take the ones that we've posted off and on today. Take those and practice with those. You know? Uh, see you all in an hour and 15 minutes. Janet said, yep, 1 o'clock Eastern. Janet comes on. <laughs> Draw a taco with a <laughs> Bye, Pacola, my little snap dragon. Thanks for being here. And Pacola also mods on Kathy Berg and CK Colleen's art, CK Art, who is Colleen, not to be confused with CK Chris, um, but CK Art is Colleen. She and Kathy Berg stream every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern or thereabouts, and they rotate their channels. So um, thank you, Tina. There's Janet's. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Thanks again, Devin, for sending the uh, papers to share. Thank you, uh, Rainbow, for the uh, – uh, Rainbow Griffin for the uh, Aubrey Beardsley book. And uh, thank you, Tim and Linda, for my – Happy mail as well. And we will, see, I'm going to go ahead and go and I'll, you know, pick up and clean up and sort out and get some lunch ready for Hubster. And then I'll see you guys over at Janet's. And I um, hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you all, all on Wednesday. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate y'all so much. Bye. <laughs>